Hello! Um, it's April, believe it or not. It's a bit grey at the moment. Um, but what I'm going to show you today uh, in the greenhouse, because it keeps raining and I can't really go down the allotment, um, is some sorrel. Now this is red veined sorrel. Um, I have grown, I've got, in fact, I've got um, some sorrel in my um, in my herb bed there. It's lovely, it's really, really nice. Um, you can either use it um, as a herb or you can use it um, in a part of a salad. And it really, as you can see from the picture, it really makes the salad look beautiful. Now, you can sow this directly outside if you have um, a, a sort of maybe a raised bed or a nice sort of secluded area a little bit. But I'm going to sow them uh, in the greenhouse and start them off um, like I do with the salad leaves, I'll grow them in a, in a container and then I'll just cut them as and when I want them. Um, there are loads of seeds in here, so don't sow all of them in one go. Sow some now and then maybe a month later sow a few more and then a month after that sow a few more so that you, sort of, you seem to have a continuous um, amount of salad leaves as you go through the summer. Um, so these are very, very tiny seeds, but they're really, really lovely. So I'm going to sow, show you how to sow these. Right, now I've got a little container here, which I've just put some normal multi-purpose compost in. Um, if you are sowing them direct outside, if you sow them in March, it might be a good idea to put some protection over the top of them because it will still be a bit cold um, and they might be very slow to germinate. But when you, well, hopefully when you get to April and definitely May time, if you sow them outside, then you won't need that sort of that, that extra protection over them. But if you sow them outside and if you sow them in here, what you need to do, first of all, before you sow the seeds, is to water the soil. Okay, now we'll just let that run through. I'll find somewhere to put that. There we are. Now, it's run all the way through and it's nice and damp on the top. And the reason we do this, is the reason we do it with lots of them, is that one, they don't then blow away because the seeds are very, very tiny. Um, and also the seeds straight away are in contact <clears throat> with some water so that they can start to grow. Okay, so we will just very carefully open the packet. Now there are a hundred in here and I'm obviously not going to sow all of these now. Now there are two things you can do with sorrel. You can harvest it when it's little um, and sort of like cut and come again or you can space them out when they're sort of about two inches tall um, and then sort of let them get uh, um, much bigger so that the leaves get bigger it's entirely up to you so here are the seeds can you see those they're absolutely tiny tiny things um, so with dry hands because if you have damp fingers then they will stick um, we are going to just carefully just sprinkle them not too close nice and spread apart it's actually quite difficult to see them on the soil but i must have sown about 40 i suppose we'll just put them there and then all we need to do next is just cover them with a little bit more compost as i say if you're sowing them outside sow them in a half inch drill and then just cover over with some more soil okay there we are. There we go. Now I will just um, label those um, and leave them in the greenhouse. Um, they should start to appear, the seedlings should start to just sort of um, come above the surface in about two to three weeks time. Okay, depending on the heat, if you get a nice warm spell, then it most probably will be a little bit quicker, but you know, between sort of 10 days and 14 possibly. Um, but they will grow up. I will keep you posted on how they're doing um, and what I do with them. But they're really, really nice. Sorrel is lovely. The, I've got some just normal plain green sorrel out there and I just 
pick the leaves off and put it in a salad and you can do the same with this red uh, sorrel it has a, a zesty citrusy flavor to it which is really really nice in a salad um, okay so I hope you found that useful and I shall see you soon bye bye